Welcome back everybody to Pokemon Nocturne Part 2. Get started. Oh, got our first infected here. Just move on right. for alligator would be but a one shot of hoot hoot oh shit Hopefully nothing jumps out at us like the last game. Little uh what's it called Apon. If I don't kill it, it's just gonna add up. Okay. doesn't have anything that's too bad hey what are you doing are you robbing a corpse what survivors oh shit he scared me thought you guys were uh, infected and um yeah i robbed corpses and yes it makes me feel dirty uh what can you do in such a broken world I really couldn't uh, find a good translation for this. It doesn't really make sense from what I got. Basically saying that Ethan shouldn't accuse them. What's your name? My name is Christian. Hello Christian, my name is Krista. My name's Ethan. Great. Oh, and what do you want here? We're Pokemon trainers. We are currently traveling all over the country to find people who need our help. Wow, sounds kind of insane. So here, well, Cherry Grove is pretty deserted. People either left or were killed by the infected. There are only four of us left here in this city. Wow, well then let's move on. Ah, wait, maybe... Maybe there are one or two things you can help us with. We we hardly dare to go out. When we do go out, it's always very briefly. We never enter other houses. It is sometimes really difficult to divide the rations. Well, what do you think? Yeah, why not? Can I translate? Not part it. Okay, cool. First, I'll show you where we've been hiding. Who are they? What are they doing here? It's already too crowded here. Miguel, now calm down. These people are here to help us. To help? I think so. They look more like people who are going to rob us. It's off to a good start. Sorry. So, oh, first of all, welcome. This is our hideout. Let's get to the introductions. Miguel has already introduced himself. The lady next to me is my girlfriend, Sarah. Hello. And last but not least, Oscar. He actually owns this house. Good evening, dear travelers. Good, I guess it's your turn. I'll introduce myself first. I'm Ethan and I'm 16 years old and I'm from New Barktown. And this is my Pokemon Brando, Aquilava, if you're being specific. My name's Krista, I'm 16 years old and I'm also from New Barktown. And my Pokemon is called Vivi, a bay leaf. Drake, 17 years old, no hometown, this is my Pokemon Croc, a Feraligator. 
Well then, how did you imagine helping us? Well, you have to tell us. You said earlier that you could use our help. Yeah, sure. But uh, why would you risk your lives to help us, people you just met? The way you describe it sounds really crazy, but yes. We have survived long enough in the apocalypse. We know what we are doing. That's what I thought. As long as we don't have to do anything for it, why not? Excuse me, Gal. He's a little on edge since the whole thing happened here. Nervous? What the? I shouldn't even be here. I'm just an exchange student. I just want to go home again. I should have never left Jodo. I better my homeland or Lola. This disease has not broken out. We pay at least a little attention to hygiene there. Now it starts again. Well, we can't guarantee a ticket home. What do you need? Well, since we're since we are here in here for like, oh wow, since we were here for a long oh <laughs> I can't talk today. Since we were here for a long time, we are slowly running out of food. I thought so. There is a place where there is some food. That a monster. Sure. However, a Pokemon Center in Cherry Grove has a small shed in the backyard. They usually store their food supplies there, but we can't get to it. Firstly, the door to the backyard is closed, and secondly, the key is on the top floor of the Pokemon Center, where there's one of the infected. But if you really manage to get the supplies, we'll be safe for, uh, for the time being. Sure, we can do that. Right, guys? Right. Maybe. Drake, why so negative? When I joined you, I wanted to do something big. And now we're helping an unemployed long-term student and an old man who will probably soon be dead anyways. Nothing against you personally. This is just some... Uh, this is just some small-time bullshit. Come on, Drake. These are human beings who need our help. I understand, but I'm definitely wasted here. You know what? Forget it. I'm willing to help. We uh, really don't want to inconvenience you. Oh, no problem. That's what we're here for. I suggest that only one of us... Oh, wow, that's my face. Uh, I suggest that only one of us go. A Pokemon Center can be crowded for three people with three Pokemon. We have to decide which team goes. And we just pick, uh, who? Uh. Let's go, Brando. Go to the Pokemon Center. Oscar mentioned the key that can unlock the back door of the center. Just save here. Be careful not to override the front. Be sure to back it up. Is there any undead out here? Yep, it's an old man. Wait, that's... It's the old man that's in there, the same old man that gives you the running shoes? I went to run again. Like it wasn't fixing the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty. That's the house where the old man gives you the running shoes. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Sorry about that. I had a pause first. Uh, Ali Wai. Big cube went up there. Come on, sir. Now we need the keys. Oh, uh, Nurse Joy became an undead or infected. She's locked behind the counter, but we should keep an eye on her. 
That's the And I already played this game. So uh, uh so I can get it. I can try. That actually scared me the first time. I was expecting her to jump, but it, it still scared me. <laughs> oh shit. Um bye. Open. Not exactly enough to feed a huge group of people, but it's enough for the four of them now, for now. Act. We're back, and we found a large package of uh, supplies. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Wow, this will only delay our death, right? Miguel. What? It's true. Uh, you're beyond help anyway. Well then. We are very grateful for the supplies. It has already become quite late. We are all tired and would like to turn off the lights. You are welcome to stay here. It will be a bit tight, but I think we can manage. Sure, a little rest will do us all good. Good night. Two days before current events. Zero, return. Oh, how bleak it looks here. We are way too late. Hey. There's one right here. Crap, he's probably dead too. However, his brain was destroyed uh, before he died so that he would not turn. It have been a violent massacre. Hopefully we can find someone still alive. That Growlithe was probably his. Kind of sad. Hey, little one, take it easy. He won't hurt you. Careful, we just want to say hello. Not good, kid. My name's Gary, and the guy next to me is Red. What's your name? Oller. Oh, Milo. So that's your name. Well, Milo, do you want to come with us? Deal, then you can accompany us from today on. <laughs> One day before current event. Oh man, it doesn't look any better here. Any parts of Kanto has been spared, but... But Celadon has been hit pretty hard. The two of us alone can't save all of Kanto. If we stop further infections, it is quite possible to completely clean Kanto. But if prevention does not work when such a big city as Celadon is full of infected. Yoro can wait. Most of the cities are already infected anyway. Yeah, yeah. Judge me all you want. But if we focus on Jodo, Kanto will go to the dogs, just like Jodo is now. Better to save a large part of Kanto and take care of the already chattered Jodo. 
You're right. Glad we understand each other. Well, what do we do now? Don't worry, but old Gary already has a plan. Current day. Oh, you. Shit. Christian, you screamed. What happened? Miguel, you just walked out of the house. You could no longer bear to sit here and do nothing. Please, bring him back. Already on the way. Did I... Bonestra. Come on, let's catch up with this guy. Back Alright, that was the fast infected. <laughs> um, more infected. How do you run past them? Counter seeing how many shots uh, go straight to the enemy. What the bubbles are doing here, too? Come on, Mankey. Oh, come on. Okay. I think on easy mode gives you more healing items. to save up for bosses because some of them can be a real pain at least from my experience at nightfall i haven't gotten to any bosses in this game hey miguel what what do you want why do you follow me oh we want you back in the safe house it's much too dangerous for you out here. Yes, it was pretty foolish of you to just run away. I'm not calling it unreasonable, but just stupid. Fuck the, uh, <laughs> fuck the safe house and fuck you. I just can't sit there anymore doing nothing, waiting to die. That's no life. If I had not come to Joro, then I certainly would not be in such a shitty situation as now. I just want to get away, no matter how. This fucking slope. I bet there are none of these rotten assholes up there. I also hate this. Yeah, it looks like you can just jump right over them. Uh, at least from the other side, but apparently uh, trainers can't climb. Come on. If you try to climb up there, it will only end up embarrassing for you. Please spare us the third party shame. Embarrassment? Secondhand embarrassment? Hatching. And that sounds better. You all have such good things to say. You all have Pokemon with you and were able to get stronger. If I had decided not to study at the time, I would become a Pokemon trainer and would have given uh, such wise advice. Do trainers in the Pokemon world not go to school? I, mean, I know there's trainer school, but what about actual school? Where do I learn how to do math and stuff? Everything that the trainer market would be like really saturated. Barely make any money out of it unless you're like a gym leader.
If the three of us only thought about what would happen if, we would get nowhere. The situation is shitty for all of us, yes, no doubt about it. We also had a lot of losses on our trip. But look, you are well, you are healthy, and you are alive. Many others were not so lucky. Waiting and doing nothing has become a luxury. Please understand, we're just trying to help you, Miguel. Well, except me. We want you to put we want to put the world back in order as best as we can. You don't believe yourself that everything will stay like this forever, do you? I don't know. Probably not. I'm sure you can hang there a little longer, right? Maybe. But what if I climb the mountain here and none of the infected people can get there? Then give it a try. Even if you manage to climb up there, there are no infected, then the cold will kill you at night. If it's like the walking dead or they can't move if it's like too cold. I think that was a thing. At least in the games, I believe. They would find like frozen walkers. Or they would just like stand still in the blizzard at one scene. I'm entirely sure. So it is hopeless. Looks like. Okay, I'm going back. Good boy. We'll get you back there safely, okay? Yes, okay. Would have been a good time for an infected to come out of nowhere. <laughs> mm, this is just saying, like, the typical NPC thing. If you get damage, they get damage. The skips. Okay, won't well, worry. Oh, we gotta go back to the safe house. And he knew I'm dead. Yep, there's one. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, whatever. Might as well take care of them now. Oh, shoot, I'm surrounded. gonna die. Come on, Fabby. Here, come on. Run. I can handle them later. Uh, Here we are again. Nothing happened to me yet. Nah, uh, they don't care about that. Miguel, what are you? why would you think that? We were already worried about you. Yeah, we sent Ethan, Christian, uh, Christian, Ethan, Krista, and Drake out, especially to bring you back here safely. We were really worried. Boy, understand we are a community. We have to help each other. If you don't feel well or you feel uncomfortable, please talk to us. Yes, please don't leave. Surely there's another solution besides running away. You really didn't have to bring me back. Make, will you make up your mind, man? Maybe it would also be okay to die out there. Hey, we didn't risk our lives out there for nothing, just so you can go kamikaze again. Drake is right. Drake, it's alright, we'll do it. This really shouldn't be your burden. More importantly, uh, someone asked about you guys. About us? Are you sure? What? Who would know us? Who would uh, who would ask about us? Hmm, maybe... Bill, that would be great. Oh man, you're talking about him again? Oh, come on, don't be jealous. I like you too. Me? Jealous? Never. Hmm, you two could hold hands later. Question, say, what did the person want from us? Ah, actually nothing special. I think he only wanted to talk. He said he, wa he, said he was waiting for you at the West House. You know, the one that is closest to water? That's interesting. 
I'm curious to see who is waiting for us. Yeah, well, we don't meet again. We owe you our deepest gratitude. That's right. Oh, a thank you from me. You are real heroes. If there were more of you, peace would soon be restored here. I have to agree with Oscar on this one. I did not expect that there are uh, still kind people. Thank you. No problem. Then, as I was going to say, see you soon. Take care. Bye. Okay, so that's it for today's video.